to another video. I'm going to be showing you how to make money on Shopify. I'm going to be bringing out a mini series. So every couple of days I'll bring out a video based on Shopify. It only makes sense since most of you have come from my video about how to make money with Shopify and a lot of you are struggling. So I want to help you make money on Shopify. I've made quite a bit of money. This guy here, I'm actually doing an interview on him. Uh, very soon on my blog. In 30 days, he made $100,000. If you want to check out this thread, I will link it in the description below. It's just, this is just a thread where I was asking people the questions they wanted me to ask them. But there is massive amounts of money to be made on Shopify. People have literally become millionaires in a few months. So Shopify is massive right now. It has been massive for a while. I do it. I put a lot of my time to other things so I don't make a lot of money on Shopify but I do make some money and I'm going to show you how to do it. So the first the first video in the series is going to be how to find a niche. This is probably one of the hardest parts, okay? So the hardest parts are finding a niche and Facebook advertising. But if you can find the right niche, your advertising is a lot easier. Trust me, it's so much easier and you'll make a lot more money if you find the right niche. So this one is about finding the niche. Now, when you're looking for a niche, there's a few criteria that I follow. You don't have to follow these exact criteria; people have their own. But this is what I follow. So, a cheap product with a good with good markup opportunity. So, a product where you can buy it for cheap, but you you can make a lot of profit from it. So, let's say a product for four, five dollars, ten dollars, even twenty. As long as you can make a good markup, usually fifty. Well, if you find a product for a dollar you can and you're selling it for a markup without the free shipping um, method, this isn't about the free shipping method, this, these videos. Let's say you find something for a dollar, you could easily sell it for $30 if you find the right audience. So that's a $29 profit will take out your shipping. But then you could probably charge shipping as well. So, you know, we'll talk about that another day. But want to find a product where you're going to make a lot of money. The more money you make per order, the less work you have to do and the less advertising you have to do. Because you've got to remember, you've got to do all the orders manually as well uh, for every single sale. So it depends on how much time you have when it comes to that. And you want to find a product that has a passionate following. This is very, very important. Okay, there's no point in finding a random t-shirt on AliExpress and trying to sell it with no audience in mind. No one that's going to buy it and no one will buy it. So you need to find a passionate audience. You need to then find a big enough audience. Once again, no point in selling a product to a small audience because then you can't really expand your adverts. You can't scale them up if they become popular. It becomes very hard uh, once you run out of basically people to advertise to. So you want to find a big enough audience and you want to think viral. Try to find products that you think will go viral. The more engagement you get on your Facebook adverts, the more clicks to your websites you get, and the more um, purchases your advertising cost goes down okay it gets spread out through all the all of those actions if your advert gets um heaps of impressions but no actions on your on your advert or your photo or your video whatever you're advertising your price will go up and it just that's how it works on facebook the more engagement that you get the lower the cost so the more viral it goes you're going to get clicks on the penny you're going to get engagement for literally one or two cents so you have to think about viral you need to go viral and then can you expand this product or this niche? Can you expand it to sub niches? Can you expand it to different products and stuff like that? If you can, well, then that's obviously a good thing because then you can um, expand your opportunities, expand your website, expand your product range uh, with Shopify. So that really covers that. And I'm just going to show you the process that I go through to find very good niches to sell with your Shopify store. So first things first, as with all of my online things I do, I write down ideas. Plain and simple. Everyone's been doing it like this for a long time. The super old school way. Just write down some niches that kind of come to your mind or do some research. I will leave a link in the description or on this video for a list that I have that you can check out. It's a free Shopify niche list. I think there's over 100 in there. But just go through and find some like broad niches and just type them into this website that I'm going to show you okay so I've gone for mums dogs sports sports are super active but it's kind of a gray area because if you promote some sports products that are copyrighted or protected you might get in trouble but you know that's just up to you goth which is what we're going to be using in this example um, National Football League jewelry is quite popular 
and then we've got gaming, camping, fitness, and travel. But these ones are quite broad, so maybe for camping, it's not very, you know, you're not going to really go viral with camping, I don't think. Uh, it's not a huge passionate audience. Camping is kind of like a seasonal thing. People are going to buy camping gear when summer's coming up. But then you've got things like survival, very, very popular. So that falls in the camping category. Things like hunting, maybe fishing. So you just expand your niches and look into other options as well when you're writing stuff down. So for this example, we're going to go for goth. I've already had a little bit of a look at this. And I actually found quite a good product that I might promote. So the first thing I do is I go to watchcount.com. Very, very handy site for this. And you need to understand that finding a niche isn't just going to happen within seconds. It might not happen within a day or two. You really need to spend some time finding the perfect niche, okay? You could you could find the niche in an hour. And then you spend all this time making a store. You spend all this time doing your Facebook adverts. And then at the end of it all, you might not make any sales because you've picked the wrong niche. So you want to spend more time finding the right niche. And then you will spend less time trying to sell the product because it will sell for you. The product will sell for you. That's the point of this. You want the product to sell for you and you just control the, ad, uh, the Facebook advertising, all that stuff. But once it starts going viral, you're not going to have to do much. You just have to sit back and watch your ads make money for you. So we're going to go goth here. And I've actually never really thought of this niche. I just wrote it down when I was writing down niches for this video. But this caught, caught my eye. So you want to go for things of high sales. This one's got past sales, 20, 20, 21,000, uh, 2,000 watches at the moment. This one's got 2,900 watches at the moment. Some good sales as well. And just go down. There's so much stuff in this niche. It's actually a really, really good niche. Um, there's a lot of stuff. It really is. So we're going to go for the first one. And you want to actually make sure you can find this on... AliExpress, okay, before you do anything. So we're gonna copy this. The choker necklace, we're gonna go to AliExpress, put it in here. And you wanna do probably, so you wanna do free shipping just to get the free shipping up. Sometimes you can get fast free shipping, not really, but we'll have a look here. So this one is gonna be, yeah, not ideal, 15 to 39 days. You can do that if you want. Um, they usually don't go for more than 15 days. Just put on your product that it will take seven to 15 days. But if you can, you wanna do the e-packet ones. This is actually a plugin I use to get this up. It's a Shopify one, you have to pay for it. So I won't really go into that, but it will show you um, what's e-packet and what's not. So we go into this one. You can pay a little bit extra and you're gonna get, so $2.28 and it will do 10 to 15 days. It's not really uh, much difference, but for that peace of mind, for that $2 extra, just add that to the shipping fee if you want, or just take it off the profit. It's not much of a loss at all. Um, you can sell these products for quite a lot, I think. It's a very passionate niche, it looks like it anyway. But yeah, you can pay a little bit extra, so you've got all these um, options here. Quite, a, I think this one's e-packet as well. This one's e-packet. Quite a lot of them are e-packet, and they all have very, you know, these are very good shops. They've all got, uh, let's have a look at some of these ones here. So this one's a lot of sales, very, very good feedback here. And it's a, it's a thicker one, probably not really what I was looking at selling, but they have the e-packet as well. So you can do, it's funny how that's more, <laughs> but it costs money, weird. Anyway, so you can do the e-packet, for two bucks as well and you're good to go on that and then you've got this one here so this is kind of what I mean by expanding your product you can expand this into different niches so we can do Alice in Wonderland people that like Alice in Wonderland and goth or you can do people that like cats and goth people that like well this is just straight Alice in Wonderland but you see what I mean if you can go into different niches so sub niches and stuff like that. Let's see if we can find another quick example here just to give you an idea. So hippies, this one could be hippies that are gothic. Um, what else we got here? I haven't really spent much time. Hip, uh, goth, goth people that like butterflies. Then you've also got to look at the store, make sure it's still legit. But yeah, that, that's it. So you've got a product. We've got, we've got a product. And this is 
basically how it is. You, if, if you want to get the e-packet, then it gives you that extra peace of mind. These products are nice and cheap, and we should have a passionate audience for, uh, for these guys. Now the next step, and probably one of the most important steps, is to find the right audience, make sure there actually is an audience for this product. So you want to go to Audience Insights, and it makes sense just to do this on Facebook because that's prob probably where you're going to be advertising your products. And you simply want to go into the interest and put in your keywords. We're going to go goth, um, go gothic rock. And you want to get a page likes. So straight off the bat, we've got an audience of nearly 2 million. You just want to open up these pages here. We'll go off affinity. So rebel market goth, goth rock. And we'll just go through these. This one here is a band, probably, probably add it, but I don't know. It seems quite active and stuff. It's actually very active, so that's what you want to, want to look for, pages that are very active. So that's a good one. We'll just write this down. So you just want to write down all the ones you find. We'll go for that one. Goth Beauty Magazine. This is pretty good because it's got stuff to do with beauty and our product has got stuff to do with beauty. Very active, so 7,000 likes for that. What else have we got? Yeah, this is a very, very active page. This is what you want. Perfect, absolutely perfect. Very active, you want active pages. So this is a really good one here. What else we got here? Yep, that's very active. And this one here, they seem to sell products, which is pretty good because if they're active, then it means that, yeah, so this one here, probably had a little bit of advertising maybe to boost it up to that many likes. So this one sells products and they do get a lot of engagement. So this is worth writing down as well. Another one that sells some items not very active so probably 120,000 yeah they probably get bombarded with aliexpress stuff anyway so i would leave that and that's not a page so that's all you want to do you just want to go through and so glam rock magazine might be another one post punk only has our oh, very small audiences though you really want to go for higher audiences as well so a lot of bands here. You could look at bands, badass jewelry, which could be good if it's uh, goth related. Not much action going on in these photos, so nope, that's a no go. But yeah, that's all you want to do. You just want to go through and find. Make sure you actually have an audience, because if you don't have an audience, there's absolutely no point in selling the product, is there? So same thing, same thing, goth magazine, goth culture. Even though they do have a small audience, you can just stack these in the interest when you do your Facebook advertising to get the audience you want. So 200,000 is probably a little bit too small. I usually go for about 400,000. But if you want to do some mini adverts, you know, make, make some money, just quick money, then this would um, work well. So gothic and dark dynasty. You just want to go through and click on all these and just see how active they are. That's really what it comes down to. It's how active they are. If they're not active, then there's no point in advertising to them. This one, you know, 300 likes, 76 likes is all right, 100 likes. It just means that they're active. And that's what you want. You don't want to find a page with no likes. So I'm not going to go much further. I mean, I just want to show you how, how simple it is to find niches. This is exactly how I find all my niches for Shopify. And that's it. I just go through and I find...